So DTP is a rare hematologic disorder. Essentially what happens is that small clots form in the circulation and um, can lead to organ damage because they prevent blood flow to these organs. It happens because of these large multimers of von Willebrand factor that form in the circulation in the absence of the enzyme that breaks it down and forms these clots. Um, it's an acute life-threatening illness and it can lead to long-term psychological complications for two reasons. One is that you have relatively well patient who comes in with an unexpected severe illness, is put in the ICU, has procedures done and then has to live with the anxiety of possibly having a recurrence. So that can lead to things like depression as well as post-traumatic stress dis disorder, at least that's what we thought. Secondly, the group from Oklahoma has found that these patients have neurocognitive complications, which raises the question of, is one leading to the other? Does depression lead them to have poorer function or the other way around? And that's why we decided to study this. So we did a survey with the help of the answering TTP Foundation. We had a 316 patients who responded. Of those, over 200 completed very validated tools for depression, which is the Beck Depression Inventory as well as a tool for post-traumatic stress disorder, which is the PCL-5 or the PTSD checklist for DSM-5. And what we found was that there was a very high rate of depression and post-traumatic stress disorder in these patients. So the rate of depression was about 80% of all patients with TTP reported scores on the BDI-2 that were consistent with the diagnosis of depression. And about 32% of patients uh, had scores that were consistent with a diagnosis of PTSD. Now we understand that a study like this, which is a survey, is subject to some selection bias. So maybe we've got higher rates than really seen in the population because if you're a patient with TTP and you have had trouble with the diagnosis or coping with it, you're more likely to respond to this kind of survey. However, the signal is so strong with about 80% being involved that even if it's say 60 or 70%, it's a fairly big deal. One remarkable thing that we found in the study was that 22.5% patients told us that they were unemployed and they attributed it to having TTP and this happened after the diagnosis and it correlates very strongly with a diagnosis of depression or PTSD which tells us that it's a very real social and economic problem for the patients.